this book. I joined Modern Health for coaching services. My employer is giving me four to five sessions per month and I figure why not? My younger self would not have done this because I would think that I already have things figured out but as you get older and you accomplish the things that you think that you should be doing, once you do the things your parents tell you to do, Saidi tells you to do that, you're smart enough to evaluate how you want to be and where you want to go. This book is called Ignite Life Journal. It costs, I think it was 40 bucks and I could say, oh, it's $40 versus I'm worth the investment. Why not? I could try it out and see where it goes. Sometimes these kinds of books, whether it's 20 bucks on Audible, uh, you can get a lot out of them and how much value you get out of them, they could really be worth more than that. Same thing goes with courses that you learn online. This journal belongs to me. Second page, how, how do, uh, this journal is your space, your safe space. Write your heart out. He said to color this book. You can, I can take five minutes or a half an hour. I have to speak to him on Monday tomorrow that's why i wanted to check this book out before my second session i think it's more he's going to help me figure out things on my own he's not necessarily going to give me the answers or direction it's more to facilitate of me giving me myself ideas maybe he could guide me in a certain path but you choose where you want to go what you want to do and whether you feel worthy to yourself. And I think that that was one of the things that I was struggling with earlier on in my life because even this morning I was thinking, I, I watched the movie, Knox Goes Away. It was about a father who he had a profession and then he lost connection with his son. He lost connection with his ex-wife at the time. And he was going through these are spoilers, obviously. He was going through some health problems and he was only given a couple weeks of life left and he had to decide what he wanted to do with his time that he had left. Who did he want to give his resources to? And it's a pretty good movie. I, I think that you guys should check it out. Life isn't black and white. Sometimes you would be doing things that they may not be seen as positive, but you would be doing certain things that you think that are right. And sometimes if you wonder, oh, why am I this way? Why am I not like everyone else? And maybe you're not supposed to be like other people. Maybe you're supposed to be who you are doing what you're supposed to be doing so that you can learn and grow and maybe you can help someone else with a similar struggle. That's what I think that I'm supposed to be doing. I never knew my grandparents, and I, I thought that uh, people that have their grandparents, they're lucky, right? Because if you could have experiences from them, love from them, the, it, it, makes, it could make your life more meaningful. And to have appreciation for those kinds of people in your lives, maybe you had uh, your mother, your father. Also, there was a detective in that movie where... If you ever grew up in the Asian culture, you would know that uh, sometimes they're not as affectionate, they're not as soft to you. Sometimes you would be trying to prove to yourself that uh, you want to be the best. It could be out of fear or it could be a desire for you to become better. So you, you can live up to the expectations of, of being great, but uh, why, why? What's the purpose of it? Is that you'd have to figure it out on your own. It's interesting how life shapes certain people, uh, their personality types. It tells you how they grew up or their motivations on where they want to go. Because there's different positions for different kinds of people. And sometimes if you think that um, you're not worthy, it's good that there's different kinds of people in the world because we serve different functions and we would be able to relate to different kinds of people. How to, so this journal, it's a safe space. He told me to color it, I colored it. I don't remember the last time I colored something. Welcome to Ignite Your Spark. 
this chapter of your life where you want to change, you want to grow, you want to be someone else. Some people had midlife crises in their lives, and I think when I was late 30s, uh, I kind of had a midlife crisis in a sense that I changed my car, I bought a little Mazda Miata because I felt that my sands of time were running out. I changed my career path in a sense that I decided to go back to school to learn nursing, but I just so happened to go back into software because I enjoy that type of work. Uh, be committed to your goals and they could be changing throughout time and it depends on you where you want to go when i was young i acted how i thought my parents or society wanted me to act and i learned that i needed to love being who i am to do things the way i want because it's my life the journey of a thousand miles begins with one stop one step can add up to you climbing a mountain. What is courage? Courage is doing something that scares you. It gives a show strength that in the face of fear or pain that you would still go for it. You would still go for what you want. Discipline, motivation, discipline, practice of training people to obey rules or coping. Uh, cope of behavior, rules, or cope of behavior. And motivation, the reason for acting and behaving in a way, in a particular way. Everyone's different. Everyone has different motivations in life. Reduce the friction. And he also has a picture of an elephant. How would you eat a whole elephant? One bite at a time. Sometimes when you're embarking on a challenge such as fitness, the uh, uh, there would be a lot of friction in the beginning, but over time, you would be learning, adapting, growing. You would learn how to achieve your goals that you want, and it can be become easier. But over time, there's a lot of steps that you have to do every day. That's why you would have to get clear on your goals and why you want things, how you want to go about it. You pick your path on who you want to be, what you want to look like, how you want to feel, the things that you know. Spark the light and have a light bulb idea and think of your life as something that is limitless. That you can have a lot of drive and growth. It's like walking up a hill one step at a time. It can be hard taking the journey because then your energy will be decreasing. Your stress can be increased and you take it day by day instead of looking at the end, end game. Sometimes I would think about retirement, but I should be learning how to enjoy the day, day to day because the destination that's one point versus the day to day, that's the majority of your life. See how it goes, accept how things come. There's a stoic quote that says, accept life for how it is and not necessarily how you want it to be. Be objective instead of subjective. Have discipline knowing your purpose and why you want it. And that can be hard. Sometimes you find it. Sometimes it finds you. I wanted to invest in myself. That's why I bought this book. And I know that I'm worth it. Why not try something different to see how it goes? Um, break certain things down into chunks. And in software, you don't go from A to Z. You take sprints and you break it down into plans. And it's like a puzzle where one piece at a time you're trying to figure it out maybe you would build out the frame first and then you would build it out from the outside in sometimes if you want to build it from inside to the outside it's up to you however you want to get it done it's possible everyone's different everyone's special in their own way so celebrate your progresses celebrate your wins be positive Give yourself credit for the things that you want. I was also listening to the new psychology of winning and he was saying some people that lack self-esteem, they don't necessarily want to be given credit or they don't want to accept gifts. So just say, for example, if I, somebody said, oh, 
you look really good, I would brush it off and be like, I'm, I'm all right. Or if somebody gave me a gift, I wouldn't necessarily feel comfortable taking it, but I bet I've given gifts to other people in the past. And it's a gift from my heart that I wanted to give to other people. There was one time my mother gave me a red envelope. She wrote a check and then I never cashed it. And she got really mad about it. And my whole thing was I didn't want to take her money because I was working at the time. I didn't need it. But um, from her perspective, you just accept the gifts when people give them to you. And feel worthy of these kinds of gifts. He who conquers himself is the mightiest warrior. It's hard to learn about yourself and understand why you want certain things, your psychology. These are kinds of things that you'll be learning throughout your lifetime. I think for these kinds of things, it's hard because everyone's different when you're in school. If they were to teach people about who they are and their psychology versus trying to train us how to fit into their mold, it may be better. But who knows if they have the resources to really do that. How do, you how do you motivate yourself to keep on going on your journey is you find your reason as to why and if you're aimless in life it could be a dark part of your life where you don't necessarily know where you want to go or what you're doing. It reminds me of a boat that if you're directionless you would be going in circles. You're not necessarily going be going to a destination. All right, let me know what you guys think. These are random thoughts, and I hope you guys have a good weekend. I hope you guys have a good Memorial Day on Monday. All right.